Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session 19th of July, uh, the Thursday, 19th of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can visit www.tradesignal.com, download it at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's uh, look at the uh, uh, markets now. European markets certainly open up relatively weaker today. We have had uh, strength in the Euro UK. Uh, index, but well, that's primarily due to the uh, situation regarding uh, uh, retail sales this morning coming in weaker than expected, which in turn obviously uh, has fueled the debate that uh, Mr. Carney will certainly back off. So again, keep an eye on that. Also, yesterday's inflation numbers came in slightly weaker, and therefore, obviously, uh, the uh, obviously no rate cut party certainly is looking to buy the FTSE. Having said that, though, the commodities have been butchered overnight. We have had the uh, oil prices uh, so drop. We've had uh, copper dropping to potential new lows as well. Uh, commodities certainly getting hit, especially after Mr. Powell's comments with regards to the dollar. Uh, certainly a hawkish stance there, hawkish rhetoric, and therefore, obviously, uh, the uh, dollar certainly rising, which in turn caused the uh, the actual commodities to fall. Also, I didn't find that Chinese markets were down again overnight. Again, concerns brewing now with regards to uh, uh, the China-U.S. trade war. Okay, EU officials this morning as well certainly. Uh, uh, sort of uh, basically parroting the same sort of stance there. EU officials say that Brexit white paper is detailed but unclear, so obviously Brexit concerns. But the main concern, obviously, at present is uh, the situation regarding uh, the uh, car tariffs. Okay, so the car tariffs, uh, potential trade war there as well. EU's milestorm says US tariffs on cars will be disastrous. Okay, um, so again, uh, so sum up uh, the way in which you want or interpret it the way in which you want. Okay, so from my perspective, that certainly is uh, bearish. Uh, news flow and therefore looking for weak weakness in European markets given the ongoing concerns of a trade spot there. Okay, in terms of the rest of the day, uh, other than UK retail sales this morning, nothing major. China obviously down overnight again, which is risk off. Uh, US markets, so US equities certainly stuck in that zone. If I bring up the S&P, give you um, an insight here. You can see here we're approaching gap fill now around 28, 2021. Uh, certainly you're looking at potential resistance and a reversal there as well. The Nasdaq certainly came coming off the uh, highs, given the concerns regarding Google. Now the question is, is whether or not this is a potential top. Uh, again, at the moment it's very hard to argue that. Okay, very hard to argue that, given the fact that we've obviously made pretty few highs. So consolidation and continuation, or consolidation and reversal? That's the question. Okay, so that's basically where we stand from that perspective. Euro certainly down at 1.16. Obviously, sterling would have got whacked as well post uh, uh, retail sales and inflation miss of the last two days. And now the question is, will Carney raise rates? If not, then obviously the FTSE is certainly enjoying that rally. But short-lived, given the concerns regarding ongoing Brexit concerns, um, Theresa May, absolute dunce, uh, imbecile, really, she shouldn't even be in power. Uh, and again, Tory parties certainly have lost the plot. Okay, uh, Whether or not Labour can capitalise on that, and that's based been the uh, recurring theme, the failure of Labour to capitalise. Okay. Either way, that's the status quo with regards to the UK. Now, let's look at the technical picture now. Let's uh, bring up the German DAX, okay? Uh, US, you're looking at a lot of uh, data later on uh, with regards to jobless claims, uh, employment. Mr. Qualls is speaking, but I think we already know the Fed is hawkish, okay? Although the Fed, Mr. Powell, did actually uh, attribute some of his speech to the ongoing trade war concerns, so again, take that into consideration. Okay, so in terms of the German DAX, so we're basically struggling at this key resistance zone which is a FIB 61% and the 200 MA. Okay, so certainly pausing there, obviously, with regards to ongoing trade tariffs, concerns, etc., etc. 60-minute uh, chart resistance certainly has held where previous support equals resistance at 12.78. You do have the unfilled gap at 12.830 and then another gap above at 13,000. Let's see if we can close that. Uh, alternatively, you've got the gap below at 12.660 and then obviously you've got previous resistance equals support around 12.600. Back down to support at 12,500, and then obviously you're looking at 12,400 and an inch, and eventually 12,300 if, if things really get bad. Okay. Again, we don't know. Uh, at the moment, the way in which the market is trading, it looks like it wants to close the gap below. Okay, you've got the gap below at 12,660, so let's see how the market reacts there. Okay, in terms of the rest of the indices, let's give a, let's have a look inside there. Uh, French CAC, I did trade this this morning towards gap fill on the downside. Uh, we're holding gap fill at 6, 61% of the daily charts, so certainly pause there. 60 minute chart, as you can see, gap fill certainly has pause, reverse, and close the gap below. 10 minute chart, this is a trade that I took this morning, uh, shorted around here, 5442. Uh, gap fill down to 5415, potentially even lower. So, still remains weak at the moment, okay? The French CAC still remains weak. 
Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100 now, let's look at the FTSE. Like I said, it certainly seems to have had a new lease of life post uh, retail sales. It looks like everybody's buying the FTSE at the moment on the anticipation that uh, Mr. Carney won't be raising rates. Okay, so uh, resistance above obviously is 7715. Let's see if we, are. we were holding FIB 75%. We did actually fall this morning, but uh, that was short lived uh, before we started to rally and reverse quite sharply. So impressive impressive to say the least okay so resistance is uh, 7685 previous support equals resistance now let's see exactly how this market trades bear in mind the FTSE does have gap fill at 7625 that's a trade that i've been targeting uh, i'm still targeting at the moment 7625 okay so that's an insight there in terms of european markets please be sure to visit cfds.com take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit trade signal and download the latest app goodbye now